Yo guys, how's it going? Mad Gaz here, and for this video, I'm showing you, well, I'm bringing you a mini tutorial series on how to get set up and get started building maps inside of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools, the Radiant Black kind. So, a lot of you guys know that I was a complete beginner when it came to building maps, and I worked it out, help from other modders and alpha testers as well, helped me get started, but I literally went in with no clue of what I was doing. So my tutorials are going to be for the ultimate beginners who do not know a single thing when it comes to making maps or doing anything of that kind. We know we have a lot of awesome mappers and modders and scripters and all that making tutorials and showing you guys the ins and outs of things as well, but I'm going to be doing things literally that the basics of everything you need to get started when making your own maps so let's just get started with the whole entire setup of mod tools so if you're headed to your steam account you'll see here yeah, that's my steam name if you want to add that i may not accept it but yeah you can add that you can go down to your library you can see your game selection here you can actually see i've got black ops 3 installed on this one if you go into library into tools you will notice once you have Black Ops 3 installed, you'll have an option to install mod tools for Black Ops 3 along here. Mine says ready to play because it's already installed. So while it's downloaded and installed, what you want to do after it has actually been installed, you need to come to this menu, and this is really, really important because a lot of people forget about this step, and right click on this and go to properties. And when in properties, you want to click on the updates tab all the way along sorry to the dlc tab and you want to tick install additional assets and just simply close that and it will install all the additional assets that we need to get going so once this is all done from the steam menu you can just go ahead and minimize steam there and you want to find make your way to your steam folder where the game is stored so make your way mine is stored in my e drive steam library steam apps common black ops 3 and you'll notice now black ops 3 has a lot of new folders and files that's all to pertain to the mod tools and stuff so what you want to do is make your way down i made a new folder uh two new folders actually because we have this file here which is black ops 3 mod tools file now this is the launch file now i'm not entirely sure if we're going to change this on the beta launch but i'm going to tell you how we alpha testers set this up so the black ops 3 mod tools file is right there and we have the black ops 3 game file is right there so we have two files now to deteriorate which one is going to actually launch when you launch mod tools what i did was i created a, a folder there for my mod launcher exe and i renamed it so literally i would take this one the black ops 3 exe mod tools and stick it into a mod launcher exe and name it black ops 3 so i know because what happens is the game updates and you'll need to keep reinstalling that exe now if you overwrite the exe you're pretty much screwed and you have to really download mod tools again so literally all i want to do is you're going to take this file the mod tools black ops 3 exe file stick it in its own folder and rename it to black ops 3 exe so we can now copy that into there and also save the original one this black ops 3 one save that into its own file as well so you now have two exes with black ops 3 but you know that this one is the mod tools launcher and this one is the game launcher now to get these to work what you want to do is take the mod tools launcher one you want to copy that and you just want to paste it back into this directory here and it will overwrite the original black ops 3 one i know that sounds confusing but what this is doing is now it's telling the game that it's going to boot into mod tools and not boot into the actual black ops 3 game now with that being done that is like the hard part i would say the simple part maybe i don't know the hard simple is it simply hard i don't no, I really don't. Yes, so that is out of the way. We can move on to the next step. Right, so what I've done is I've made a shortcut to the mod tools on my desktop. You can go ahead, go into Steam, and you can just go right click onto Steam, play a game. But I made a shortcut on my desktop, so it's a lot easier to use. Then we're going to double click on that right now, and you'll see loads of the command window specified value saved and all that jazz. So once this menu pops up, what you want to do is you want to click this file right up here, and this is the new file page. So you want to click that, ignore everything on here, these are just the custom stuff that we have in. So we have the multiplayer combine map and the giant map from zombies. These are all my maps I've done for testing and stuff like that. So once you click on that one, you want to open up a new map or mod. We're going to select the template is ZM mod level, and that's your zombie level. So we're going to put this as ZM tutorial 
and hopefully that should work. Now with the ZM, I'm not to totally sure if you need to put that in there, but I like to put that in there just for safety, so I know it's a, zo a zombie map. So this is zombie map tutorial, we click OK on that. Yes, it has created all the custom map files that we need. We've got the zombie map tutorial file, which is your map itself. The zombie CSCs and the GSCs are all your scripts. The tutorials, that's also your zone configs and your sound images and your zoning files for the map. So let's create all them files. All you do now is click OK on that. And you'll see that we have zombie tutorial is there now. So what we can do is click that, have this highlighted, and you can either go up there to the radiant launch tool or you can simply right click and open map in radiant and you see there it's adding in all the stuff all the files and stuff like that for our tutorial map and we launch in we see now we have this tutorial map here which is looks basic you can see some crazy light errors as well so the first thing you want to do is you want to you could, this your menu might look a little bit different to what my menu looks like so i'm going to close down the models there and i'll close down the entity info it may look something like this you may not have these window panes on here but these are easily added in by pressing control command so you can press t to remove the textures or t to bring the textures back in and yeah that's just something simple so we have the view window here using your mouse to look around using the right click on your mouse and drag to move forward and back if you hold in control and do right click on your mouse up and down, you can go up and down. If you hold in shift and control and use the right click, you look around as well. And it's just a case of getting used to doing all those things when you're doing. Or alternatively, you can hook up a gamepad and do it as well. That's kind of what I like to do. So now we have this in our views. We have the top down view here of our basic map. You can see all the different volumes outside the map as well, such as our skybox our umbra volumes and stuff like that just to make sure everything loads in fine we have all of the different entities and yeah you can see at the top here it says we are in game view so this is what it will look like in game if you spawn that in now you think well that looks bad because there's a lot of dark shadows and stuff like that so if you press f9 on your keyboard it'll take you into the radiant view so you can see all of your different things now if you go along from f7 to f8 to f9 it gives you different variations so F8 is just a flat, uh, sorry, F7 is just a flat view with no lighting whatsoever, pretty much. And then F8 adds in your lighting, and then F9 puts it into game mode with the lighting. Or you can remove the lighting in game mode so you can see it as well. Right, but yeah, that's out of the way. So press F9, I like to take it out of game mode when I'm doing my editing and stuff like that. And what we're going to do now is build the lighting. So you'll see up here we have our exposure settings for our camera, and you'll see a little lightning bolt here. And if you do not see the lightning bolt, all you need to do is right click onto the top bar up here and select exposure now i've got mine selected already so once you've done that you select exposure and it will show you this little lightning bolt right here and these along next to it are your quality bakes for your lighting so just to do a simple bit we don't want to do a high quality bake because we're just doing a little test now we just want to do a low quality bake and you want to hit that lightning bolt and you'll see it will process the shadows process the probes and eventually it will be done just like that and you see now we have the light has been rendered in the level and it is using the reflection probe right here we'll get into that a lot later we also have lights in the map as well and that is pretty much it we've set this up this is a tutorial level easy as that and we can go ahead now and save that map and if you really really want to do this you can go down to your menu here the black ops 3 mod tools launcher select your tutorial level and we can simply build this as it is but please select at least one fair from the list and action to be performed. Right, so there you go. I made a massive mistake there. This is what happens when you're a beginner. So you've got ZM tutorial level selected. Now we have these options on the right hand side. What would you like to do? So since it's the first time running this map, we need to compile it. So we've got compile it. You want to compile the light as well. And you want to link it to your scripts and all the other stuff and the assets all into the game. And you want to select build. Do not select run at the same time as these three because it will not work. So select build and let it do its thing by building the map for you. And once it is done, you'll see that changes back to build again. We have the process and everything's done there. It tells you the time it took. It should only take a few minutes to, not even a few minutes to do the first tutorial level. Obviously, once you start adding more things to the map, it will take a longer to compile. But what we need to explain now, guys, is when you're compiling a map, if you've not altered the light settings in any way inside of Radiant, you can just untick light and compile it because the lights take a lot more compiling than the actual map does. But anyway, we've compiled the whole thing. We've used compile, we've compiled the lights, and we've linked it all to our scripts and types, stuff like that. So we can go ahead and untick all of these right now. And then we want to run this level. So we want to simply tick, simply tick, run, and we still have our map selected there, ZM Tutorial, and then we select build. And that will should hopefully run the map 
inside of Black Ops 3. Now, if we've made the EXCs for Black Ops 3 correctly, like we showed at the start of this video, this map should run flawlessly. And there you go. Once the map boops in, it may take a few minutes. You are now inside that level that we have created. And it's as simple as that. You can see these perk machines here. You do not see these in Radiant at the moment. I'm not entirely sure if they will fix that in the beta test. All you see in Radiant is their lights. So now it tells you you need to turn the power on. Quick revive you can always buy. We can simply go ahead, knock the power switch on. Obviously that power switch is just the stock one. A lot of people know from watching my maps that you do not get the handle for some reason. These are things that they hopefully will fix in the beta version. But yeah, you can run around your map now and simply just murder all the zombies. We have a wall buy on the wall here. Which is just a simple wall buy for the KRM. Boom. Boom. And we have a window board which you can then run up to and board. And this is just the basics of the map. Hopefully you enjoyed this and it was helpful to get you set up and started. I know a lot of other guys are doing tutorials like this, so let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to continue doing this, because I'm going to show you the basics of how to set up and build your own working map. So there you go, guys. Hope this did help you out. Like I say, hit that like button. Comment down below what you think. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and continue to dropkick your grandma.